president is being hired to do two very specific jobs for the American people. We've got to get this economy out of the ditch and make it work for our Americans. And we have to restore America's standing in the world as a leading force for peace and prosperity. Now, once you decide what the job is, it's easier to figure out who to hire. Would you agree with that? Now look what we've been through these last eight years. Look at the condition of America today. We nearly had a total credit meltdown in this country. It almost got to the point where people couldn't finance a refrigerator or a television set on installment loan. The biggest car dealer in America stopped financing cars for a couple of days. The whole shebang nearly ran off the rails because of too much risk, too much debt, too little regulation, the wrong philosophy. And look at what's happened to the economy. After family income went up $7,500 a year after inflation across all racial and regional lines, it's $2,000 lower today after inflation than it was the day I left off. Why? Because after 22.7 million new jobs, we'll be lucky to finish this eight years with 4 million new jobs. You can't run a country like that. We need to have jobs, we need to have incomes going up, and we need to have a system happened because decisions were made. You hire a president to make decisions. So this election, I would argue, is about the philosophy, the policy, and the decision. Number one, Barack Obama has the right philosophy. He knows America is a country that works from the ground up, not from the 